What's up, YouTube? This is THF Entertainment, and welcome to Maverick. Yep, the Maverick repo and the Maverick add-on. I am about to show you. I am about to. I am about to show you how to install the Maverick TV add-on. That's what this episode is about. That's what this is about today. And you know how we get started. For all the beginners, this is what we do. Up in the upper left hand corner, between the power button and the search icon, we got the cog or the gear. You want to select that? You want to select that? All right. Now, once you select that, it's going to bring you to this page, and you want to select system settings. Once you select system settings in the lower left hand corner, make sure it says expert. If it doesn't, make it say expert. When you're ready, select add ons. Now, when you get here to add-ons, you want to make sure unknown sources is checked and looks like mine. If it's not, does it look like this? Then you want to say pop and then select yes. All right. Now, if you're ready, remember you can always pause go back to the last page. And then we're going to select file manager. Once you select file manager, you want to scroll down. To where it says add source and you want to select add source then you want to select none and that's when you're going to enter the URL or the address all right now you want to type exactly what I type now when you're all set you're going to have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash maverick TV dot net forward slash mav repo all right. When you got that, you can go ahead and press OK. Remember, noobs, you can always press pause. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and name it. You see it's named it for me, which is so cool because <laughs> I'm going to use it. Dot Mav Repo. I like that. You can name whatever you want to name it. Just remember what you named it. Okay. All right. If you're set, you know what you want to name yours. Go ahead and press OK. And if everything was entered correctly, you're going to come right back here to this page. All right. If it does, then go ahead and be ready to go back to the main screen. And now we're going to select add-ons. Add-ons. Once you select add-ons, you want to select in the upper left-hand corner a box or package installer. But I like tapping that box. Once you select that box, it's going to bring you to this page. And you want to select install from zip file. Once you do that, remember what you called it. Scroll down. I called my Mav repo. Select it and then select repository Mav Maverick repo. And then we're going to wait for it. It's going to say Maverick repository installed. Okay. There it goes. Maverick TV repo. Okay. Well, Maverick TV repo. I was off a little bit. Now we want to go ahead and select install from repository. All right. And we're going to select Maverick TV repo. And then we're going to select video add-ons. And then we're going to select Maverick TV. And we're going to go install. Now, while that's installing, as you can see that 4M tester that I was telling you guys about all the time and YouTube at the bottom... Hey, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Those two you need. You need a four, F4 four tester and YouTube. Make sure you have them. Uh, you see Sports Devil because you're going to need that mainly for all your sports um, and live streams. You know, most of them use Sports Devil. Even though some of you say Sports Devil doesn't work. Well, if you're using something else, nine times out of ten is using Sports Devil. All right. Um, uh, Skynet's on here. Project Mayhem. There's some other stuff on here that you might want to try out. <clears throat> oh, Live Streams Pro. All right, everybody. If you don't have Live Streams Pro, it's on this one. It's also on Colossus and the Colossus repo. But go ahead and um, install that right now. You see the check by mine because I already have it. Because I have something in the upcoming video that going to, that's going to require you to have Live Streams Pro. Pro, so go ahead, 
and install Live Streams Pro right now. Go ahead. I'll wait for you. Go ahead. Okay. Now, remember, you can always press pause. Now, Maverick TV is installed. Hopefully, you're going ahead and, li and, and downloading or installing Live Streams Pro because, remember, in the upcoming video, you're going to need it. So, I want you to have it already installed, all right? All right. Let's go back to the main page. Okay, once you get back to this page, you want to go down. What the? Oh. Where's... Oh, there you go. Maverick TV. We're going to go ahead and open up Maverick Television. Oh. Maverick, 4K, UHD movies, Maverick movies, Maverick TV box sets, Maverick Sports, Maverick Live Sports, Maverick 24-7 movies, new releases, Maverick IPTV, World IPTV, Sky Cinema. Okay, guys, it has it all. Classic Kids. Uh, it has a lot of content on here, people. So, everybody, you're going to be very, very happy with the content on this one. It looks good. I'm going to check it out tonight. Me and my wife are going to sit down and we're going to look at this and see what it do. I've been known about it, but I think something happened to it. It went down, but now it's back up and um, it's ready to go for you guys. Like I said, if something is fishy, I try to wait until it's right. Then I bring it to you, you know. The only mistake I made was with that Black Entertainment uh, add-on because that was it was kind of fishy, but I knew a lot of people wanted it, so I tried to bring it to them. Hey, but this right here is Maverick TV. We got it installed. So, we good to go. All right? All right, guys. Hey, we got Maverick TV now. I want to thank you for your comments, your tips, your suggestions, your likes, and your subscriptions. We're almost at 600. Come on, guys. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Don't let your friends go out and buy uh, a fire stick or box already loaded it's going to cost them an arm and a leg all right let them go ahead and buy a fire tv box or a me box or an android box and send them to my page so i can show them how to install it themselves there is no such thing as jailbreaking when it comes to coding unless you're doing it on an ios which is apple iphone ta um, the, the ipad then you have to jailbreak it but for uh, Android nah baby it's compatible okay so it's just side loading that's all it is it's not hard you can do it your grandmama can do it your kids can do it all right watching my videos we're gonna all be awesome okay all right guys thank you again